It's been 15 years since Jose Luis Hernandez arrived in the United States in an exhausting journey from Honduras on a train carrying the migrant caravan. He fell on the tracks and lost one leg, one arm and part of his hand. Crossing the border into the U.S., he hoped he would find the medical help he desperately needed. In this country, it's difficult not having a legal status, and even in my case, with this kind of disability. We already suffer for having a disability, and then we suffer more when they tell you that you can't get help because of your legal status. On top of my disability, last year I had some problems in my kidneys, and they did some tests and I had to be referred for further tests, but then they told me that the insurance doesn't cover these tests, and I couldn't go on with the treatment, and I received a lot of bills that I couldn't pay. California's Medi-Cal program provides health insurance coverage for its lower-income residents, and this year it's become the first state to offer these benefits to undocumented immigrants of all ages. I think it'll have an effect on all lives, documented and undocumented people because the, 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 the illness or the disease knows no boundaries. So you had, if you have undocumented people that are ill because they couldn't get health care, then documented people will become ill. And we don't want to have that situation. It's very important that we have health care and that we're treated with dignity. They are the frontline workers in many fields, agriculture, uh, room services, construction. They're everywhere. Jose Luis Hernandez works as a volunteer at Immigrants with Disability, an organization dedicated to raising awareness about the plight of immigrants who once served as the backbone of the American economy, but were left helpless after a work accident. There are hundreds of migrants with disabilities who have lived here their entire lives, 30 years, 40, 50 years, who have worked their entire lives in this country and for some reason have not been able to fix documents. They spend years working in factories and farms, but many face work accidents and disabilities while contributing to the American economy. Critics say adding more than 700,000 undocumented immigrants on the state's health care program program will further strain a system where patients are already struggling with adequate access to providers. The expansion of the program will cost the state more than $6.5 billion a year, but with high numbers of undocumented immigrants arriving in California through the Mexico border, that number is likely to go up. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.